Zaga what? Zaga that. Baby, all of my property. All of my property. I give you authority. I give you authority. If you go down like economy, economy. Baby, you go follow me. Follow me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mercy. Mm -hmm. It's your girl Mercy. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> before we get started, I just want to remind you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the button down below and turn on the notification bell so you know whenever I upload. Um, so today I filmed for you guys a very simple step-by-step -step beginner friendly makeup tutorial for the fall. It's you know it's yellow tones, browns, blues, like I just put everything in there girl. It's very easy and made sure to kind of explain what I was doing so you guys could follow along if you are going to try this look. Very like boho chic like i don't even know how to describe it sis but i love it and i hope you guys enjoy it as well and without further ado if you are interested in seeing how i created this look just keep on watching yeah right just keep on watching or should i say and i'll see you on the next video Ta -da. i don't know just keep on watching yeah <laughs> i can't so I went off camera and I did my eyebrows and today we're actually going to start with our skin. I like to start with skin nowadays, like I don't know. I'm doing something very like, like my last look and if you haven't seen that last look, it's right here girl, go check it out, it was pretty cool, I really love that look. I'm not doing something like that where I have glitter and all of that, then I just like to start with my face so everything can just like mesh with my skin sense, my skin aura and I don't know what I'm talking about sis, but you know what I'm talking about. So that it can settle in and the makeup is sitting while y'all watching me finesse the eyes, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Jesus Christ, hold on. Oh girl, the way that water just like glides down your esophagus, isn't that esophagus? I don't know sis, the way it just goes down your esophagus sis, oof, that shit is wild. So we're going to start with our face, I'm going to go ahead and prime, I just picked up this primer, it's the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, and for some reason, yo, I've been sleeping on e.l.f. Listen, I'm gonna use a brush to apply this, so. Mm. I'm gonna just use my hands. Y'all know I like to use a beauty blender to apply my primers, but because I haven't played with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, it feels, whoa, it feels really nice. I can't explain it. Um, uh, It doesn't feel like, if you've used, what is it called? If you've used the Smashbox primer, it feels very like, not like that. This one, look at me. Just look at my pores disappearing. Oh my God. Okay, this, this area right here is where I have the most pores. And remember, when you get to under your eyes, dab, dab, dab. Okay, so, so far I really like how it feels. It doesn't feel silicone-y like um, the Smashbox one. This one feels moisturizing. I like how it feels so far, so. Okay, so today we're gonna try a foundation that I had recently purchased. I'm gonna be trying a few of a few makeup products that I haven't used in a while. We have my ColourPop Cosmetics foundation in dark 175 and dark 180. I have these two, right? And I also have Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation, the color 4.2. Last time I wore it, it looked a little orange. So we're just gonna try it on camera. Maybe I can mix it with my ColourPop um, 180. Dark 180 just to make sure that I don't look crazy on camera But just make sure you always shake your foundations. I'm thinking of doing like a yellow look like a yellow Look, maybe I'm add some freckles. I don't know. We're just gonna see how this this tutorial goes But I like that it comes with a pump. So I'm just gonna do uh, Two pumps on my the back of my hand and then I'm gonna mix a little bit of this dark 180 I just did like one and a half pumps of that and I'm just gonna take my concealer brush that I always use and mix them together. I'm gonna experience this together, y'all. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Does it look crazy yet? So far, it looks a little pink. It has like a pink undertone that I'm not really quite sure of. <laughs> let's see how that goes first. Take your beauty blender. I think 
mixing it did something because last time when I used it, I know you guys watched my current favorites video. Um, Let me just wipe off a little bit of this lip gloss. Yeah, I used I used this Smashbox foundation and it just looked hella orange and I was like, mm. I was gonna like record it and film it, but it looks. I mean, that's pretty. That's like a medium coverage. Not bad. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I need y'all to start talking to me in the comments. Like, leave some love. Show some love. Like, I'm out here making these videos for y'all. Just like, show me love. I mean, you don't have to. I'm just kidding. But I like to interact with y'all. I like making sure that I talk to everyone in the comments. I answer all your questions. Or I try to. I like it. Do we like it? Yay or nay. So as far as concealer, I got the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Chestnut. This is what it looks like. This concealer, y'all. Oh my god. Like that video with my current favorites, my makeup came out so bomb. Like I was in shock. Here, blender. That's how you get those smile lines, sis, in case you're wondering why I'm doing that. I love this concealer. Oh my god, it's so bomb. Blend, blend, blend. Making sure that you're not like you're diffusing well as you go. You know what I mean? Take a paper towel and just dab it out. Like, you know what I mean? On my like, cakey makeup. You guys know that if you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, that's where I like I interact with a lot of you guys. I don't like cakey makeup. I don't want to look like I have makeup on. It needs to be skin like. Okay? It needs to look like my skin. Like yes, I have makeup on, but it needs to be very blended. I don't want to see no creases. I don't want to see any of that. This concealer is bomb.com. Like and it's very thick, so a little bit goes a long way. And I'm gonna try to use products that I don't use often on my channel because I know that when I like something personally, I don't like to change or try other things. So we're just gonna try to stick to like using products that I haven't used on my channel a lot. Today I'm actually gonna use a different setting powder. I don't know if I want to do that, like to be honest with y'all. Like, I'm a little nervous and I'm actually like, I don't know if I wanna do this. I wanna use my ColourPop setting powder. I'm not gonna use a lot. It's just like really bright and I just don't want to deal with it. So we're good. We're good there. We're good there. Okay, there we go. There we go. Like it's very finely milled, so it's hard to believe that it's actually setting. But look at that. The finish is pretty beautiful. So I guess today we're not going to cream contour because we're not going anywhere. I'm going to use my handy dandy Saharan blush. The Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. This palette is pretty bomb. I'm gonna use this color right here called Abbey. I'm gonna take a big brush and blend that out. The one thing I'm definitely not gonna avoid using today is my MAC setting, uh, is my MAC Studio Fix powder for my under eyes because this is like a holy grail. Like I cannot do my makeup successfully without it. So I'm just going to do a little bit of under eye security real quick because this stuff is everything to me. <laughs> I need to do it. Like my makeup doesn't feel complete. Now that we've done the powders in the face, we're going to set our face and I'm going to use my new favorite setting spray. It's the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This stuff is so fun. I love it so much. Oh my god, it's literally the best thing ever created. <sighs> it's just like the right amount, it's not too much, I love it. And then after that, we're going to go into the eye. Okay, so y'all know I like to start off one eye off camera. This is what we're working with, okay? So today I'm working with the Box of Crayons palette. I'm also going to be working with the Zulu palette by Juvie's Place as well as the Freak Palette by Juvia's Place. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the Juvia's Place Zoom Palette and I'm going to pick up this color right here. And I'm gonna start working it in my crease on this eye because we've already finished this eye pretty much. So we're just gonna take that color 
and start working it slowly in the crease and remember my eyelids are already like primed at this point because we put the concealer um, in the beginning when we were concealing <laughs> I'm using a very light hand like I'm barely even holding the brush and just kind of gliding that color into my crease like that and I also like to um, kind of dab it in just because yellow is a very hard like I said it's a very hard color to work with for some reason it becomes patchy and it starts breaking apart so like I said work that color nicely like patch it in there because we're gonna use a different brush to blend and I'm using the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill brush in JH 34 I've been using her brush collection and I literally haven't touched any of my other brushes like and then take the JH 36 by Jaclyn as well in Morphe and just blend that out blend, blend out blend out guy more than you Okay, so blend that out nicely. Make sure you're blending this. I like to go back and forth. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the Afrique palette and we're gonna take the color Aya here. We're just gonna place it on the lid like that. It's very pigmented, but you gotta work, you gotta work with it because it disappears. So it's something that you have to like literally work with. Very gently, don't like rub it just like keep building on it like that and take your brush and blend out those edges like that and then we're gonna take the yellow in the crayon case palette i love this yellow it's so pigmented i'm gonna take this color right here i'm gonna use my finger and i'm just gonna dab it on top like that i find that using my finger create like it just brings out the color even more Okay, voila, that's what I like to see. Yes, okay, that looks cute. I'm gonna pick out some lashes. I don't know what lashes I wanna wear with this. I'm gonna do the ones that I hand picked. Um, and I'm gonna pop these on and then I'll be right back. A little bit. So let it dry. And while that dries, we are going to start our under eyes. Favorite brush right now, where did I put it? Favorite brush in the entire world right now, it's the JH40. Still Morphe X Jaclyn. I love this brush. So take that yellow from the Juvia's Place Zulu palette, you guys already saw it, and just start working it on your under eye. So keep working that yellow under your eyes. We are gonna put on eyeliner so we don't look so empty. Okay, so now we're gonna grab um, the liner. I'm using the NYX Vivid Brights. The NYX Vivid Brights liner in, what color is this? In Vivid Sapphire. Oh, sis, I'm gonna have to do this off camera because I have to get very up close and personal to the mirror because I actually have to do this. Like I have to put the, the lash away. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, so we have both lashes on, we have both eyeliners on. It's looking really cute. Um, so now I'm gonna put on eyeliner. I'm using the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in the color zero. And like I told you guys in my last video, this eyeliner is bomb. I'm gonna tight line. And then you take like a pencil brush like this, and then you just Smoke that out a little bit. Yes. Okay. Pink. I need a gold, like a very bright gold. Just grab this color right here to put in our inner tear duct. That's what I want. It's not as bright as I want it to be. I want it to be very bright. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna use the gold in the crayon case as well. It's right here. Ooh, sissy. I'd be knowing, I know what I need. I know exactly what I need. Look at that. <sighs> Sis! Oh my god, this is so pretty. Oh, what we're not gonna do is doubt ourselves, okay? 
When I want gold, I mean I want gold. Tell me not. Oh yeah, take out my money, put them for your head. You hit, hit, for your head, you Okay, and then take the same powder, dust off the fallout with the powder. Can you say open bridge? Damn. Nini mbaya na hii, na shine kimilatea nonsense. Ah! Kibi tu zingine zina kwanga na ujinga. Okay, so we're gonna highlight now. So we're gonna go back into the Juvia's place because I haven't used it in a while. These two highlighters. I don't know which one I'm gonna use. Zara is this one, and Lila is this one. And so this is Zara. Wow, that's pretty. And then this one is Lila. Oh, I don't know which one should I use. I think I'll use Zara first because it's more gold. And grab this. I'll make sure I get a good angle. You know what I mean. Whoa, sis. Do you see what I see? Bomb. Wait a minute now. I've been sleeping on a lot of products that I own, like. So freaking pretty. Oh my God. Yes, oh my god. Yo, don't sleep on Juvia's place. I've been telling y'all this. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And we're still gonna do one more highlighter because I really want to glow um, for the gods. My face like that. I'm gonna make sure everything is good and nothing is too harsh. And then we're going to grab and Glola, okay, we're gonna grab it. Glola from the crayon case. This is what it looks like right there. Sis, I told you to grab a little bit. You went ahead and went ham. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Okay. Yeah, so we're definitely gleaming at this point. Gleaming. Okay, and then take your brush again. And then out. Oh my god, it feels so pretty. I can't even explain it. Like, <laughs> what the fuck, though? Where the love go? Five, four, three, two, I let one go. Wow, get the fuck, though. I don't bluff, bro. Now I'm just gonna like get close so you guys can see the skin makeup so you can see how pretty it turned out. Like this is so cute. I'm so obsessed. Okay, my love. So I don't know what lipstick to do, but I know I want to do any something along the lines of brown. I don't know if I want to do red because red might just not work. So I'm thinking about doing gumbo. Or doing bear. So I'm gonna get really close to my mirror. I'm really close to y'all. <laughs> and we're gonna try bear. And if it doesn't work, we'll just put gumbo on top. Okay, this look is cute and all. But definitely not for this eye look. So we're just gonna layer that with. Oh, it's kind of pretty though. This is I'm gonna have to reconsider this for another day. But it's definitely not for this look. The love of my life is calling me. Oh, I thought you meant you text, that's why. Oh, you did? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Why was it? You just sent me like a mind bomb. Yeah. Oh, you didn't see the picture? Did get a picture? No, when I get there, what else you don't know? Okay. See you soon. Bye. You too. Thank you. Bye. My heart outside my body so as you can see gumbo is and I, I like that i did that color underneath because it's a little bit it makes it a little bit warm mm. i just love gumbo 
I love crayon case liquid lipsticks. They're so wearable. They're so comfortable. They're one of the best. Colourpop and crayon case are my favorite. And right now, Pixie. Pixie has taken the spot, girl. The number three spot. So it's Colourpop, crayon case, and Pixie. Most comfortable liquid lipstick of life. Like, I'm not even joking. Do you guys like it? Let me do some close-ups. Let me do some close-ups so you guys can see how pretty... Look at how beautiful my face looks right now. Um, I just need to change my shirt and wear some earrings and I'll be right back.